We sailed the entire coast of Sardinia, stopped at Anchorage that were just unbelievable, what? and faced our worst nightmare, a huge storm in the south of Sardinia. Pretty hard. We had some boats drag. We have the Coast Guard over there. that we leave port what I do is I put the route here on the BNG and I also put it on avionics here on my phone uh, the reason for that is because sometimes there, there could be an issue with the BNG I had instances that the screen totally froze and I couldn't do anything with it but I had the route here on my telephone on my iPhone with avionics and I kept going that way um, I just feel more comfortable doing that it would be awesome if it could be so reliable that would never have a problem. And I had issues the other way around where uh, the, uh, the iPhone, for example, totally heated up because in the summertime here in Europe it gets very, very hot and the iPhone start, it stops to work. So having redundancy uh, to me, it's something very important. So now we're leaving this Kala, which was really nice. Uh, we really enjoyed being here and we're gonna slowly progress uh, on the coast of Sardinia. There's not much wind, but I think we can uh, possibly sail a little bit. So it's gonna be a, a nice smooth sail to our next destination so we can spend some time at this next Cala, which is called Cala Pevero. How about the sailing today? Is it good? Yes, very good. Live your life within the so, moment, moment. So and don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know when it is over, over. All that I know is... So 10 knots of wind, we have our Jenniker up without our mainsail. Just a Jenniker. I know, not recommended by Lagoon, but we do it because uh, not a whole lot of waves. So there's not a lot of jerking uh, motion here on the boat. So just a Jenniker does the trick because we're like uh, going uh, at six knots. And uh, with the uh, main up, it wouldn't do much because uh, it would actually do a little shadow for the Jenniker. We experimented doing that. So we decided just to go with the Jenniker up, uh, no main sail. So it's a pretty good uh, sailing. Uh, we're having a good time here. Uh, Patricia is over there making some uh, videos for Instagram. And by the way, if you do not follow us on Instagram, we have like a, also an Instagram account. Uh, where we post a little bit more in real time than our YouTube videos so you can see what we're up to. Let us dance this side away. 
Good morning, guys. We have been cruising the northern part of Sardinia, and uh, the plan here is to go down the east coast of Sardinia and uh, no max of 20 nautical miles a day. Uh, we want to sail every day, and uh, the conditions here are pretty good. So every day we have between 5 and 15 knot tops of uh, wind speed. And what we're doing is, uh, yesterday we utilized our uh, code zero today we're gonna do exactly the same and we're gonna continue to go down the east coast the east coast of Sardinia uh, there's about a hundred to hundred and thirty nautical miles I don't remember top of my head but the idea is for us to continue to go down before we cross uh, to Sicily to continue our journey towards our final destination which is gonna be a very very cool one one that is gonna be totally different uh, for us so we're super excited to continue on this journey uh, for this season. in this beautiful place look over there there are some caves that we can go in we're gonna go check it out later on <laughs> we knew that everybody was gonna leave at five o'clock because everybody rents those dinghies and they have to turn it back between 5.30 and 6. So they leave the beach at 5 and it's interesting. We were arriving here at 5 o'clock and there were, I don't know, 30 dinghies leaving at the same time. So it was kind of hard to get here to the anchorage and I'll throw the anchor, but everything was fine. Just a uh, little sailboat that decided to uh, throw anchor right in front of us, but he changed his mind in the last minute very good so he went somewhere else but anyway anyhow we're here and we're gonna go for the I promise myself a delícia, tá super quentinha. We decided to come see the caves. This is stunning. It's like one of the most beautiful. I know I say that all the time. It's one of the most beautiful locations. We've been here in Sardinia so far. We're really having a good time here, but we're gonna have to leave before 11 o'clock because apparently at 11 o'clock, all of the uh, little dinghies they uh, rent over there and that fourth they arrive and they arrive at the same time. So uh, uh, this quickly becomes a nightmare. So we're gonna be enjoying here for a little bit more before we go to the next anchorage.
Right before we get invaded by a thousand dinghies, we get ready to leave and sail to another incredible place not very far from where we are. Kala Goloritz. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. not a whole lot of tourists anymore because it's 5 30 so all of the little dinghies they have left already to be returned so that left us just with a couple of other boats they're gonna spend the night so this is good and uh, in the morning I think around 10 or 11 o'clock the big boats that bring all the tourists they start to arrive so we leave because it gets very very rolly they do not respect a whole lot whoever is uh, anchored here so you end up rolling a lot they pass by your boat speeding up and everything so it's not very pleasant so we're gonna really enjoy our time here while it lasts without a whole lot of people so it's time to It's just us here on this anchorage here in Sardinia and we're having a very good surprise. Look who's stopping by to say hello. If you have not seen yet uh, this couple, they're great. They do very good content on uh, Instagram and YouTube. It's called Sailing Tiama. I'll leave uh, uh, their channel on Instagram here so you guys can check it out. So they're here. Look at that. They are arriving. They have done all Greece and a uh, very good season so far. And uh, they will be anchored right beside us tonight. I know. We saw you on the audience. Say, oh my God. Yeah, I'm so cute. <laughs> <laughs> And slowly we progress towards Kaliri. 
Uh, we have done the East Coast so far. We thought we we're gonna it was gonna take like a week. It took us uh, almost 10 days, and uh, we're almost at the tip of uh, Sardinia. So today we're gonna move a little bit more, 10 more miles. We have uh, winds of about 12 to uh, 16 knots. And another fun thing that I started doing lately was to download the Predict Wind uh, weather routing directly on the BNG. It's so easy, I just pointed to the cursor and I click download predict wind models and it gives me like several models of the wind and I choose the one that is actually getting the best hit for the day. So I've been doing this for like the past week, I've been trying out the software and I've been impressed that it just gives me exactly the way I should be sailing to the next destination accordingly to the wind that I have on that specific day. Not every day it's sunny here in uh, Sardinia, so we're going to see if this rain is going to bring some wind or it's just water. So we are in the southernmost point of Sardinia and it looks like the thunderstorms are not going to be as bad here. As you guys can see it's sunny but we have some uh, cloud formations right behind us. So we're going to see in the next 12 to 24 hours exactly what's going to happen. We're uh, not in a place that uh, it's totally enclosed that is going to be good for the wind and all of that because we don't forecast a very strong wind so we're going to stay put here for the next day and see what happens crossing our fingers that it's going to be good and that is just going to be some water that is going to be falling which is great because it has not rained any for the past month and a half yeah it looks like um, yeah the stand-up's not gonna survive for much longer uh, every i don't know two days it's like this, so we may have a hole. Uh, so the quality of this stand-up was not very good. So we're gonna have to do some research here and see if we can find some uh, stand-up paddles that uh, we can use every day and it's not gonna come up with holes. We take care of it and everything, but I think the quality was not good. So if you know of a, a brand of stand-up that is really good, that uh, we should get it, let us know here on the comments below. But uh, this one, yeah. Estávamos nós lá em Chia, uma praia super bonita, super protegida. Aí a gente acordou hoje de manhã, deu uma olhadinha no Indy, né, que é aquele app do tempo. And today we left the anchorage that we were and uh, we motored to Cagliari to go to the marina. But as we arrived in Cagliari, the winds picked up and we could not uh, park at the marina, the slot that we had reserved. And uh, because it was too risky and we thought we could have a problem, we decided just to go to an anchorage that is very close to Cagliari. That's where we are right now. Why all of this? Because it's forecasted to have a 40 knot wind thunderstorm coming in two hours from, uh, from now. Not all the time the wind forecast gets it right. But this time I think it may get it right. So what we're doing is uh, we're securing everything that we have here and we're going to be on the lookouts because this is going to be during the day, which is good because if anything happens, we turn the engine on and we release tension uh, to the anchor that we have um, deployed. We also deployed 10 times the length that we have from joy to the bottom. So we're, we have about 40 meters of chain at three meters more or less of uh, depth here. So I think we're going to be good, but we're going to be on the lookout.
started. It's uh, 22 knots now, which is not a lot. We're holding fine. But if you look at the beach over there, that we see the dunes, I think it's blowing a lot there because that you see the dunes there, it's blowing a lot there because you see all of the sand being picked up and tossed in the air. praticamente todo mundo ele subiu a âncora tem indo embora o vida está acelerando a joy para a gente não arrastar mais Hard. We had some um, some boats drag. We have the coast guard over there, and we have the engines on just in case. Uh, and we're monitoring our anchor here. No 
não gostei. Primeira vez que a gente passa por uma tempestade assim com a Joy. E tinha milhões de raios caindo na cidade, na... no oceano. Um monte de gente arrastou âncora. Nossa, a gente está com o motor ligado agora. And after the thunderstorm comes the sun. So it was a stressful one today because uh, it got, I think, almost close to 50 knots. It was like 45 knots. That was the most we've ever got here at Joy at Anchor. The issue was not even the wind, it was the waves that were coming this way. And then we, we did a, like a, a total 360 here uh, in terms of the, uh, the wind. It was like blowing from every direction and whenever the direction got and the wave was like right beside joy we had like cups go everywhere we had to like just throw everything inside of the sink so it wouldn't break but everything is okay it's just like it makes a lot of noise so whenever it makes a lot of noise it feels like the world is ending but in reality we are in a very good boat that you know it's made to cross oceans and everything we're like at a at a at a anchor so everything was fine now we're gonna finally have some uh, lunch for today we're kind of tired so um, we're gonna eat something and probably sleep but everything is fine uh, we just lived through this one to tell another story <laughs> 